Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Two Point Hospital. Just wondering if we... Ooh! Right in that little spot, right in there. Yes, we've got just enough room to put a rose bush in there. Fantastic! Uh, we want to have some rugs on the floor. We've actually got room for four rugs on the floor in this room. We'll put one here. Definitely like that. So we've got all four of those in there, and what should we have? We, well, we, we don't want the normal regular pictures in here, because quite frankly, I think they'll be fed up with the regular normal sort of pictures. So we'll put a couple of those in there, and I'll put another one over here as well. So we've got some art on the walls for them to appreciate, like that. There. I think that's looking great. We will put a clock in here as well. Where are we going to put that one? Uh, actually, I suppose we'll put that one up there so that they can see. They know when they can. They have to get back to work. They're not going to like it, but uh, that they'll know. Okay, that'll that'll do. That'll do. We will go accept. So I've got the staff room. I've got a training room, and I've got lots and lots of people in here as well. We've got janitors who generally can't do very much at the moment. But they are able to start sweeping stuff up and they're able to at least like start getting a move on with cleaning a few bits and pieces here. So while I'm waiting for them to do a little bit more, I'm going to look in here. Courses available, trainees available. My three janitors. Uh, janitor, janitor, and janitor in there. Courses available. We can do maintenance. I could do stamina training first. Before I start doing maintenance and mechanics and upgrades and stuff like that. You know what? I'm actually going to do mechanics. That's going to be the first thing they have, I think, is mechanics like that. And then trainers available. That is going to be 27,000, but it does get all of them done at once and it does in 25 days. Right. Fast speed. We got a water five plants. Once our janitors have been trained... In our first 25 days of, of being here, then we're, we're going to be sort of getting things moving. We've already got air conditioning units underway that they're already cooling the place down a little bit. Let's have a look at these toilets in here. What, what have we got in the toilet room? I want to go data view like that. I want temperature overlay. We need to change this round. Janitor is required a lot in the toilet room. Get rid of the data view there. Uh, pharmacy is required. <laughs> Doctors have discovered a new illness. Sandy crack. Parts of the body so dried out by sand have begun to crack and crumble and disintegrate entirely. Sufferers need to be chemically rehydrated with water, mostly. The patient is seeking treatment. We need a pharmacy. Uh, yeah, we'll be... <laughs> Sandy crack... <laughs> Who comes up with this stuff? <laughs> Seriously. That's, that is disturbing and absolutely hilariously amazing at the same time. What is that? Why have I got a drinking fountain in the toilets? No. Pick up. I don't want a drinking fountain in the toilets. I don't like that idea. I also don't necessarily like the idea of having the open toilets. The plant can stay in here. We've got the sink and we've got that right there. The plant can move. Pick up, move the plant over to that side over there. And then we we'll go on here like this and we'll edit this room. Toilet cubicle will put in a new cubicle right in there. And then the other ones, they've got to be repaired. And we will go... We've got a bin right in the middle. I'm going to put a fire extinguisher in here. That one's going to go next to the plant. And I want an air conditioning unit in here. Where can the air conditioning unit go? I guess the air conditioning unit... Like, well, we... we Move the plant to this side of the bin... Like that, and then put the air conditioning unit there, like that. 
I'd say that was pretty good. There, 750 that's going to cost us. That one's going to go like that. So we've got our janitors have been required. I need the pharmacy. We now need to build a pharmacy. We've got our GP surgery over here, which means that I actually want, with doctors, I need to get a GP. Oh, wait a minute. No, one, one of my doctors had no training at all, didn't it? It, he. You are a psychiatrist. You are... Uh, you're a treatment doctor. Okay, I didn't have a doctor with no training at all. I think I may have had a nurse with no training at all. Uh, but I want a pharmacy. We will very quickly construct a pharmacy over in this corner right here. So that one will go... Ooh, how are we going to do this? Should I put it over there? No, I won't. I'll put, I'll put the pharmacy over here. We'll do it like this. Pharmacy is nice and quick and easy to make. We'll put in a couple of medicine cabinets. One and two like that. And I'll actually put in an extra couple of medicine cabinets over there like that. And we'll have a filing cabinet in here as well. Because we do things the old-fashioned way in here. We want a toxic waste bin. You definitely need a toxic waste bin in a pharmacological environment. We want a fire extinguisher. That one can go back into that corner. I want some nice smelling hand sanitizer on the wall. I need an air conditioning unit. That one will go in there like that. It's not quite stuffed back into the corner. I'm going to put a chair in here if I can. If we've got room for a chair, we want a clock go on the wall. We could put that one up there. That one's going to hang right in the middle of the window up there. And I want to fit in a chair, which I'm hoping can go... No, it can't. Uh, I'm not going to be able to have a chair in here, am I? Yes, I can. I can put a chair there right in front of the air conditioning unit. Perfect. 12,750. I now have a pharmacy. That is absolutely spot on beautiful. As soon as our janitors have finished their training... Well, what I need to do is I need to keep an eye out for doctors. We've got 12 days left with doctors in here. May Diagnosis. Request that all outpatients kindly get out. <laughs> all outpatients kindly get out. One of our patients, Bartholomew Fidget, has been sent to all of our diagnosis rooms. We're only 61% sure of the diagnosis. We can ask them to wait till we have more diagnosis rooms, take a risk and treat them anyway, or send them home. What would you like to do? Get them to wait. We can upgrade our drug mixer. And that will make it more effective. I'm just learning We're mechanics sorry for the at the litter moment. That you dropped on our floor. As soon as mechanics has been learned, I will be able to upgrade that drug mixer right there. You're going to learn? There, right. Mechanics has been learned. That has all now been completed. So if you have a look here, you've got mechanics, which allows you to upgrade machines. So they can get out and they can start doing some cleaning and, and various work like that. So that plant there I'm going to pick up and I'm going to move over to that side. And we're going to go to rooms. We need general diagnosis. Now I have got some diagnosis nurses. I could actually put that one out so that is a 4x4. Four four. This room has got to be a 3x3. Three three. I can have 4x3 room for general diagnosis or I could save that space for something else. Which I'm thinking would be better. Cancel. Yes. Because what other rooms are we going to want? Cardiology is a 3x3. Three three. General diagnosis is a 3x3. Three three. Uh, research. Fluid analysis is a 3x3. Three three. X-ray is a 4x4. Four four. Mega scans a 4x4. Four four. Uh, and then we've got all the rest of these. So, really? Well, these are 3x3 three three rooms that... The ones that I would want at the moment, staff, no, uh, psychiatry is a 3x3. Three three. Ward, we're going to need a ward fairly soon. So cardiology and general diagnosis are both 3x3 three three rooms. Where can I put these 3x3? Three three? Ooh, actually. I can put one 3x3 three three room there. With a door on it. So that is going to have the easy scan in there. And we can put the bed... Over there like that. We'll put medicine cabinets in here because these are 1% diagnosis and treatment. 
So we can plonk in a few of these to help with treatment. There's an extra 4% on there. I'm not going to do any more than that, I don't think. We'll put a toxic waste bin. We will put a recycling bin. Can't put it over in that corner. Can't put it there either. Right, fine. I'll put it right next to that one. Extinguisher. Extinguisher can go in there. Hand sanitizer can go on the wall up there. We can put an air conditioning unit there like that. Don't believe there is anything else that I want in here apart from... I like to have the clock in here. The, the clock is actually quite a cool thing and it does do quite a bit for the prestige of the room as well. I can't put this chair in here. Yes, I can. I can tuck that one into that corner, and that is absolutely spot on perfect. So there. I've got the diagnosis room in there. And then I can go to rooms, and I can build cardiology as well. That one will go into here, and I'll leave that bit open. So then we can put you in that way. That bit over there, that bit's going to stay open. We'll put a wall monitor. I'm going to put a wall monitor there. And a wall monitor up there. And then we'll go with a medicine cabinet as well. That can also help out. So we, that one can go into that corner. And then, actually, you know what? Don't put that one in there. Put that one over on that side. And then put another couple of medicine cabinets. Put one there. You and bring over that way a little bit. Like that. Now. Toxic waste bin. I will put one of those in here. That one can go there. And then I'll put a recycling bin next to it there. We'll put an extinguisher in underneath that wall monitor. We'll put some nice smelling hand sanitizer in this room. That can go there. We'll put air conditioning. That can go right over there. And I'd like to put a rose bush in here so that it makes it look nice. And then I want a couple more of them if I can put them in. It is, oh, wait, no, 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 no. We, we, we must not forget the chair. The nurse has got to have somewhere to sit down. It's very important that the nurse has got somewhere to sit down when they're waiting for patients, and also we want the clock. So the clock can go up there. The chair cannot go into that corner over there. Uh, let's bring you over this way. You can go there, right underneath that wall monitor. That's perfect. So then I can go back up this way, and we can go to the medicine cabinet. I think I can get... No, I can't. I can have one more medicine cabinet in there. That makes 12,000. Uh, job done. Right. I've now got two treatment rooms, uh, two diagnosis rooms that we will be able to use. Uh, on top of that, I want to go in... No, wait a minute. I want to go to hire first. I've got a psychiatry doctor. That's no good. Nurses! That's more like it. Diagnostics and... Fu no, diagnostics does not go with that. Plants need water. That doesn't work together. New illness tooth mutiny discovered. Our doctors have discovered new illness tooth mutiny. Poor dental hygiene has led to revolting teeth with a tendency to revolt. Send <laughs> the patient for treatment in the pharmacy. Okay, so we've got pharmacy patients coming in in here, which means that I could really do with another doctor, another nurse with pharmacy. And also with diagnostics, that that would be good. So uh, we've got a janitor is ready for promotion. I don't know if I should go with... I'm just going to go with normal happy at the moment, rather than super happy, so that we don't burn through all of our cash on on wages. So let's be honest, we, we, we don't want to do too much in wages. Trainees available. We've got the student nurse here with nothing. She's working in general diagnosis. I've got a treatment doctor there, and I've got a janitor. So you... I'm thinking your general diagnostics. You're you're going to come out there. Trainers of courses available. We've got diagnostics and ward management. We're going to give you diagnostics. I'm going to go trainers available. You've got diagnostics level two, which is actually really good. So you're going to train her for the first part, despite the fact that, that is going to end up costing us. Uh, I'd rather, like, we haven't got anybody working in here for a minute. That's, that's fine. We don't mind that. We, we've got our janitors busy cleaning everything up and repairing everything as well. Uh, they're, they're doing a great job in here. I, I do need to tidy those toilet tubes. Maintenance Automated snack machines need restocking manually. What is that? Why have I got glowing balls of lava in my hospital? I'm a bit concerned about things like that. 
Right, they, they, they do cause me a small amount of concern when I see things like that. We're going to go in here a minute, and I'm going to just pick that one up and straighten these out a little bit. That's all we're doing. Nurse required in cardiology. Why aren't you... Oops. Oh, it's because of that one. Right, I need I need to get another one of them. So I want to go to edit in here, and I'm going to go to toilet cubicle. There, now I've got the toilet cubicle back properly where it should be. There. Nice and clean and tidy you and want looking to experience great. All that the pointy mountains have to offer. Stay at the Underlook Hotel. You'll never want to leave. Underlook Hotel. Serving Two Point County. This is Two Point Radio. This is Two Point Radio. Right. Training course completed. I've got injection administration and pharmacy management. We'll probably want injection administration, but that would probably go better. Well, that is actually a treatment one as well. 20% treatment in injection administration and pharmacy management. And then we could have that. I, I like the idea of that. There. Gets toilet rage. That's fine. Right. Off you go. And then we want to go back into higher. We've also got pharmacy management with motivation. I don't think we'll take you, but we will take an untrained one. High energy as well. That is great. And then we want to go to doctors. We've got AGP. We've also got treat that. This, this. That's too much mixture. There's too much mixture going on here. Bedside manner, diagnostics, and radiology. So we've got a diagnostics doctor, but we don't need that. We wouldn't need that for quite some time yet. We've got more janitors. I'm not going to worry about them at the moment. Uh, so I'm going to leave these applicants as they are for a minute. I'm going to get any more of them, and I'm not going to get you either. We will leave that going just as it is. I'm now ready to do a bit more training, but my janitors, I've got you. Oh, you're not a janitor. Where are my janitors? There. Okay, janitor over here. Wait a minute. Go into staff. And we want to go to job, assignment, janitors over here. You, are, Fabio Nerd, is not quite ready for learning just yet. And none of them have got ghost capture. So we will do ghost capture as our next thing. They are all able to do upgrading of machines, which is great. I want a general practice, a GP. So we will do that. The, the doctors, I'm not putting any restrictions on them yet. I think Brangelina... Brangelina, brilliant. Oh, that is fantastic. I think Brangelina... She is going to be our ward manager to start with, and we'll get some more nurses who can also do that. Um, collaborative objective completed. Maintenance rewards 10k points. Okay, let's go and see what else we've got. So we've got in here. Oh, I did that one there. So now I've got timed moneymaker. $300,000 on the timed money maker. I already did that one. And then I've got the timed cure patients in here. 90 days to cure 10 patients. We'll go with the timed... No, we won't. I'm not going to make $300,000 at the moment. I don't have anywhere near the hospital infrastructure to do that. So I'll go with the timed cure patients for now. We'll run that one. And then I want to go to the training over this side. Of course, I... What have we got? Janitor and janitor. I've only got two janitors ready. Brangelina. What was I going to... I said just now what I was going to train Brangelina in. Want staff. Here. Brangelina is ready for training. Ward management. Ward management. That's what she's going to do. So we're going to go in here. We're going to go to uh, trainees available. Brangelina right there. You're going to be my new ward manager. I'm going to have to build a ward as well. I'm going to end up building two wards for you. But we want ward management right there. 
And there's going to be an outside trainer coming in to do that particular course right there. So we close that one up and we go back to hire and nurses. I got nobody at the moment. You can go. I don't want you. Um, and those three can go as well. I don't want them either. Right. We're making a good start. We got three of our janitors in here. They're doing a great job. They are tidying everything up. It's just going to take them a while to finish doing all the tidying up. Let's move that chair around a little bit. Put you there. I need better waiting areas and things like that. We need to get some benches down. Drawing a blank. Now the hospital is less filthy, we're legally allowed to call it a hospital. Oh, and start doing medicine and all that. We've also been sent the technology to treat patients with blank look, a disease we're likely to encounter while we're on the island. Uh, what is blank look? Rooms. Indentification. Cures patients with blank look. Emboss features onto blank faces with high impact machinery. <laughs> oh, you know that is going to be amazing. You know that that is going to be absolutely stunning when that one is done. Let's just have a look at that face, face stamp. Yes. Oh, that is going to be beautiful. We won't do that just yet. We will uh, just stop editing this room. Yes, I want to stop editing the room. I don't want to put that in because we have... Oh, wait. No, we've actually got it right there. We've got the whole face stamp malarkey going on right there. I need a ward, and then I'm going to need this face stamp thing. Right, we'll, we'll move that extinguisher over there. We will move that plant uh, over there like that. Now, rooms. I want a ward. Definitely going to want a ward. There's a 4 by 3 right there. I'm going to do that as a 5 by 4 No, I won't. I'll do a 5 I'll do a 5 by 3 for the ward. We have a big old door on it like that. And then that one goes there and then we put that one there and then we will go with the jasmine beds. We put one and two and a third one there, and then over this side. Yes, of course. With the, the three by three room, we can't do it. We need to with a, a three room, we we can't do it. We need to bring that room out over here. Uh, you there, that door can go, and then that one can go into there, and I can take the ward door which goes on there, and then you need to move up that way, and then I can take that bed turns around and I put one here and I put one here like this and then we go with a wall monitor which we put above each bed there and one up there like that and then we go around this side and we do the same we put a wall monitor above each bed just for convenience sake now Safety next. We will do the toxic waste bin. That one's going to go in there and we will do an extinguisher right next to it. We have to have an air conditioning unit in this room somewhere because otherwise it's just going to get too hot and unpleasant. So where can we put the extinguisher? That can go... I could sort of put it in front of the waste bin like that. It's not covering up anything. It's going out into the main room and it's sort of disguising the bin a little bit in behind. I, it's, it's not ideal, but I, I think it's acceptable having it like that. I would, I would class that as acceptable rather than, you know, wonderful. We'll put the hand sanitizer on the wall over there. We're not going to have a table next to every bed, despite the fact that I would like to. We will put a clock on the wall up there. Uh, we will even put a chair in here for someone to sit. You know what we can do? I can't put one under there, but we can put chairs in here as well as the little bedside tables. Uh, they have bedside tables. Some of them will have the bedside tables. And then we can put like the odd chair in here as well. So I'll put that one up there, and then I'll put a chair in here. Because whenever you go to visit someone in hospital, they've always got chairs there for you to sit on so that you can visit your relatives. And I never I never put those in, do I? So I'll put that one in there. And I, I've got another couple of bits in here. So I, I, don't think we, I don't think we need any more than that. 
I think that's going to be all right. And what else have I I've got? A locker as well. Do I want to put a locker in here? No. But I do want to put a medicine cabinet in. I would like to put a medicine cabinet. So I'm going to put that one. I'm going to put a medicine cabinet in the middle of the room there. And another one in the middle of the room there so that they can access the drugs that they need to to treat the patients. Right. I think that's perfect. $20,000 has been spent on that ward. And then we want to go over to this side and we want to build this new room, which is going to go in here. And that is the blank face stamp thing down here. This, this is, you know, this one is just going to be absolutely amazing. I've got a magazine rack right there. Let's move that one. I've got a notice board up there. I'll put the magazine rack here a minute. Let's, let's uh, move that bin there. That bench can go there like that. And that one can go there. And then that magazine rack can go over against the wall over there. We'll get some more benches and stuff put in in a minute. Oh, actually, you know what? We can put some of those in right now. If I go here, I'm going to go with the standard benches rather than the purple benches this time. We're going to put a couple of benches there beside the doctor's surgery. We'll put another couple over here next to these rooms. And I'll put a couple over here next to these rooms as well. We'll put drinks machine here and a snack machine over here so that they can get some stuff from them and that'll do oh wait a minute we're also going to want stuff that stops boredom now i've got the one leaflet thing i'll put another leaflet stand here somewhere uh, that can go there like that we'll put a bookcase against the wall over there and then bins we could do with a couple of bins big bin Put one next to the bench here, and I'll put one next to the bench over here so that we've got some bins for them to use. Right, it's starting to look a little bit neater and tidier in there. So then we can go back into the rooms, and we can go over into this corner. So it's this ident identification that we want. Now this is a three by four room. So that one will go out like that, and then one, two, three, like this. So we have a corridor we will run along here. So there's going to be a room that will go there like that. And then I've got this. Why aren't you reachable? Ah. Right, I'll put that one in that corner of the room over there. Look at this thing. This thing looks amazing. This looks absolutely amazing. We're going to put a toxic waste bin right over in the corner for that one. Uh... Recycling bin, extinguisher, hand sanitizer next to the door, uh, air conditioning unit will go sort of in the middle of the room, should help cool everything down quite nicely. We'll put a rose bush over in this corner, we'll put a sunflower over in this corner, because let's be honest, I like this room to look really awesome. Uh, we want a. Uh, what else we're going to put the clock up on the wall there, and we'll put the wicker chair underneath the clock, like that. Ah, I think that'll do. Build room, 26,600. Okay, this, this looks epic. This looks epically cool. It really does. That is going to be fantastic. That is going to be absolutely fantastic. Another item that I want is got to be a air conditioning unit in here. This hospital is entirely too warm. So we're going to put this air conditioning unit in the corridor near that plant. If I can put it next to that. Well, I think that's quite enough care and loving attention inflicted upon the patients from myself for today. So we will return next time. In the meantime, if you have enjoyed this episode, then could you please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.